Hey guys, what's going on? Over here in Circleville, Ohio, getting ready to go home. Let's see where we were. We were getting ready to go to Nashville. No, Lebanon, Tennessee. And we did go do that. We delivered that one. Can't remember what that one was. Oh, I remember that one. We got down there and that was a uh, dropping hook. We went in there and we uh, went in the office and the guy told us to drop it in the door. So we went around there and Don put it in the door. He did pretty good. I had to tell him how to line it up with the door because he didn't know he had to line it up with the bumpers. I just assumed he did, but once he figured that out, he got it right in there. Then we went and got us an empty out front and we left there. We were we had another load going to uh, pick up in Sykeston, Missouri, over there at Unilever. It was a load of ice cream. And we, uh, Don drove us over there to the Loves over there in Sykeston. And then nothing happened during that. And then I went, I went in and took a shower, got ready to go. I went on up there to pick it up at Unilever. And then when I got up there, the guard wouldn't take the trailer because he had a little, a little hole at the top of the trailer. And she gave me a piece of tape to put on there, but it was all the way up at the top, so you needed a ladder. And I was trying to put it on with the load bar, but then my piece of tape got stuck on the roof of the trailer. So I went over there and I asked her if I could have another piece, and she said, no, that's just expensive. You can't have another piece, so. Then I had to go down there to Matthews, Missouri, and the TA and get them to tape it up. They, that cost $150. But I didn't have to pay it, thank goodness. And then I went back over there and I picked it up. I got it picked up just fine. Then me and Don drove it out to... We took it to Pittston. No, we delivered it. I delivered it over there in Hazleton at U.S. Cold Storage. And Pennsylvania and nothing happened during the way really it went just fine oh another thing it was heavy on the tandems over there in Missouri but I got it good enough it was 34,100 but they won't bother you for that then I went over there we delivered it and they didn't have any empties in Hazleton so I just dropped it and then I picked another load off load choice. It was, uh, oh, before that, they tried to give me a load to Connecticut. Over there in the yucky part down there by New York, New York City. I had gone through New York City across the GW Bridge. But I didn't want to do that, so I told them no. They still tried to get me to take it, but I said no. I don't want to go over there. So then when I found out there was no empties, I picked one off a of load choice. It was delivering to the Costco in Monroe Township, New Jersey. It was on the yard in Pittston. So we went up there. It didn't have to deliver till Monday morning, the one to Costco. So I went up there to Pittston and spent Sunday up there. Just rested and stuff. And then we got it. I hooked it that night. And, uh... We left Monday morning about 6. We got down there to the Costco. And out on the street, Don got off the truck and went home for the holiday. And then uh, I went in and delivered it. Well, I tell you what, that Costco's got it together. It only took them like... i got to put this off duty. It only took them like 30 minutes in and out. They're always like that over there at Costco, Monroe Township. I don't mind going to that one. That one out there in California, that's a different story. Forgot the name of that place, that town. It's over there by that Flying J. I won't go there. It took them six, seven hours, and there's no bathroom. Well, anyway, then I got a, a load sent to me from uh, Delenco, New Jersey, to Lockmore, Ohio. And it was an overnighter. So I went down there to uh, 
to a Petro down there. I forgot. It's Bordentown, New Jersey, where the Petro is. Anyway, I got a wash out there and a truck wash. And I went on down there to Delenco. And this load wasn't picking up until 9 p.m. So I waited till. Well, I slept during the day and then I went over there at 8.30 p.m. and got it. Took them till 11 to load it up. Then it was an all nighter. Drive all nighter on it. It paid really good though. Out of New Jersey, it was paying like $3 a mile. Like you had to drive overnight to get the big money. So then I drove it overnight and I got over here. I got to Lockbourne Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Yeah, yesterday morning. And it was a drop and hook, so I just left my trailer there. I didn't pick up an empty because I'm going home. So I didn't want to have an empty. And I came down here to the Flying J, or not the Flying J, the Loves, down here in Circleville, Ohio. And I got me uh, some Taco John's. Then I went to sleep. I only meant to sleep till like 9 o'clock and then get up and drive down, go home. But I didn't wake up till 11.30 p.m. So I just told my wife that I'd be down there in the morning. Now I got up this morning and I took a shower and I'm fixing to head out here in a minute. Got to go get home. We're taking the boys down and get their uh, permits so they can drive. We got an appointment. Hopefully they both pass. Not one of them passes and one of them fails. That would be a bummer. Uh, anyway. Then we're going to have Thanksgiving. I'll probably head out about, uh, I don't know, Sunday. Sunday afternoon or something. Head back up to New Jersey and get done. I had to tell him that he can't lease. Because he uh, lives in New Jersey. can't lease if you live in New Jersey. He was saying he wanted to lease. And I felt bad and didn't want to like keep it a secret the entire time he was training so he I wanted him to be able to make the choice whether he wanted to stay or go based on that but he says he's gonna come back and just go company so that's good I like him he he drives good he had that one boo-boo but that was it that can happen to anybody but anyway that's about all I got anything I got really for advice is that if you want to make the big money out here, you got to be willing to do the uncomfortable things. Like, you can't be taking resets out here just so you can have your full hours. And you got to run anytime you need to run. Nights, days, middle of the day, anytime. I got an alarm in my phone for every time you could ever imagine. You got to be able to get up and go. You just got to be able to do what a lot of people aren't willing to do. A lot of people aren't willing to do what they need to do to make the big money. And then they sit and complain, oh, Prime done this to me, he's done that to me. And then they get on your YouTube comments and comment how Prime sucks. But really it was them that wasn't willing to do what they need to do to get it. But anyway, so you got to be able to work it. Not complain, just complain about it. Another thing, if you want to shower every day out here, you can take a shower. You just gotta park where you need to park to get one. You can't park in an old dirt lot somewhere, no name brand truck stop. You can't park on a prime drop yard. You just gotta learn to back up and park your truck when you need to park it, where you need to park it. Know what time to go in there and take a shower. Go in there during the day and take one on your 30 minute break. Or go in there, you can park at two or three in the morning, there's gonna be a spot in there. But you gotta know how to back up. If you ain't taking a shower because you're too afraid to back up, then that's on you. It's not trucking making you not be able to take a shower. Anyway, that just bugs me when I hear people complaining they can't take showers and this and that. You can get a shower every other day at least. There's no reason to go days and days without showers. It's just gross. And it's lazy. And it's just, you're choosing not to take a shower. But anyway, that's about all I got for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be nice. Y'all have a good one. I messed this all up. Anyway, I ain't redoing the whole video because of it. <laughs> y'all have a good one. Bye. Go. Cool.
Stop.